the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Welcome back to the channel guys, we've got a lot to talk about in this video We're going to cover several different projects and take a look at what's new Okay guys, what's been going on in the market And we're going to look at some AI projects, we're going to look at some deep in projects We're going to look at some meme coins um, So let's just get into it, starting with Bitcoin, okay guys So Bitcoin, um, the halving for Bitcoin is literally 8 days away Okay, so we're eight days away from the halving, uh, just under nine days away. Okay, and um, I think that we're going to see some interesting price action. We don't know whether the price of Bitcoin is going to shoot up or is going to go down and start ranging. But uh, one thing's for sure is we're going to see an altcoin season. And um, just like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, um, historically, what we see after a Bitcoin halving is normally the price start ranging lower. Uh, but then what happens is we see the alts outperforming Bitcoin. Bitcoin dominance comes down and alts outperform Bitcoin. So I expect to see the same thing um, in this cycle, the same as we have in every other cycle. The only different thing is that Bitcoin has never been above in price discovery above its previous all-time high uh before the halving before okay so that's something different but i still expect uh post halving performance to kind of mirror like like that which we've seen in the past bitcoin is currently see, sitting at a seventy thousand dollar market cap so price is looking good at the time of recording this video but uh one thing that will do well okay is the bitcoin narrative all right guys we're not going to talk about every project but we're going to talk about some of the ones that you may not have heard of or well one of the ones that you may not have heard of and we're going to talk about different tokens in different narratives uh but spectra chain is one that um you know i've been keeping my eye on recently sitting at 31 million market cap this is basically in the bitcoin narrative right so this is a basically a layer two built on bitcoin all right guys so if you're bullish on bitcoin which obviously everyone is right now okay um, this one could do really well based on the fact that it's a layer two built on the bitcoin narrative and this is uh brand new okay it's literally only been out for a couple of days um just under a week at the time of recording this video i posted this to patreon the other day um i didn't take a position on it because it was pumping but you, you can see there's a dip over here. So this is why I think this one's interesting. If you didn't know about this one before, you might want to take a look at it. Okay, guys, because, you know, ultimately, um, you know, this narrative is going to do well. There's project like, projects like Stacks that are going to do well. Uh, and things like this that are low in market cap, people will easily speculate on this. So we could see upside in this particular token, this particular narrative. I'm not sure what this dip was about but i'll just assume it's for the simple fact that it did have a huge pump when it came out but spectra chain is most definitely an interesting project in the bitcoin narratives and that's the only one i'm going to talk about that i've recently discovered in the bitcoin narrative today um i know you guys love the low cap low market cap projects okay um so you know there are two low market cap projects that i'm going to talk about now um uh this one is deep in okay so we have an ai project and a deep in project so this one is ai deep in uh but it's also in the vpn narrative okay guys now um this one is called d orbit d orbit network i don't know much about the project this launched today okay this launched today but a while like this one is you know I did talk about another VPN project on the channel a while back um, and that went absolutely crazy. Okay, now I did get out of this prematurely because it carried on up, right? And I wasn't too sure about the whole VPN narrative, right? But, you know, Shadow Node SVPN is holding up very strong, looking very bullish in this market and it's clearly a narrative that people are bullish on. So shadow node i think we talked about this in the lower like under around five million market cap four million market cap or something like that right um it's now sitting at 26 million market cap so you know pretty bullish right 
Um, go and watch my previous video on Shadow Node if you want to know more about its VPN. But it's basically a VPN. Okay, it's a VPN. Uh, if you go to the website, right, just quickly, right. So Shadow Node is a VPN. So it's in the privacy security narrative, right? Um, and it was nothing else really like that. Uh, recently uh, launched there's doing it the, w the way shadow vp uh, shadow node are doing it they they want to compete with nord vpn for example right now d orbit again i don't know much about this project but the simple for the simple fact that it is a uh, a vpn right or it has a vpn they, ha they they have the whole you know nodes as a service and things like that as well okay um, they've got a decentralized virtual private server and then you have the decentralized node hosting service but they have the decentralized VPN framework as well the website looks uh, pretty decent um, again they've only been launched today so I'm not sure if the staking and all that stuff is live it might be too much too soon right it's better to kind of drip feed the bullishness on these types of projects um in my opinion right you don't want to just launch a project and have everything running all at once okay give people something to be excited about right but um they have so they have the the decentralized vpn all right guys and that's what interested me about this project because the only competitor that i see at the moment is shadow vpn or shadow node svpn which has been performing very well so with this one sitting at a 1 million market cap right it does look very interesting, but it is early days. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you, you have to be careful and use risk capital only in these types of projects. Or even you don't have to take a position in everything. But because, you know, there's a lot of rugs and a lot of scam projects out there and a lot of projects that really won't live up to, you know, what they're saying they're going to or they hope to achieve. Right. Um, and And, you know, generally... I like to go with first movers anyway, so Shadow knows SVPN has the edge, but um, competition is always healthy for the space. And you know, I just wanted to share this one for the simple fact that it does fit into that VPN narrative, and there's you know there's not much that I can compare to uh, right now in this narrative. So this is another one that you can keep an eye on. Uh, so moving on from D Orbit. Um, we're going to take a look at an AI project that also launched today called Bandwidth Bandwidth AI. Okay, so Bandwidth AI is also a low market cap project sitting or fluctuating fluctuating around the one million market cap level. Um, and basically, this is like you can get rewarded for using your unused bandwidth uh, bandwidth, right? And ultimately it's just a way to earn a passive income it fits into the ai narrative and um you know this one did interest me for the simple fact that it's at a very low market cap and it launched today and um you know all it needs is a few tweets and a little bit of speculation and this could make you a lot of money right because ultimately it's an ai project um but it, you know it there's never any guarantee with an AI project that it's going to moon, that it's going to pump, right? Or it could pump, you get a little bit of FUD, and the project will come down, right? So bandwidth AI is one to be careful of, but it does look good on the surface. So ultimately, that's why I like uh, bandwidth AI. Now, moving on to the next project is Hash AI. Um, this one's a higher market cap project, okay? But there's a lot of interest and a lot of uh you know volume that's gone through this particular chart from the beginning now it did have a massive pre-sale i know that much or i think it did at least um but this one did perform very well literally i think it went over 100 million in the very first day of its launch um but this is not one that i've talked about on the channel previously so i wanted to talk about it today just briefly because um you know this one uh you know ultimately it's one that you probably probably should keep an eye on okay um because it's backed by a lot of money or so it seems right it's got a lot of support as you can see the chart looks bullish all right guys but hash ai is an ai project but it's mining or um, artificial mining 
infrastructure okay guys so you know it's a little bit different from what we see with you know the node hosting services right um this is actually uh in fact it says here that our advanced ai algorithms provide significant benefits in terms of roi for both clients and token holders as well as helping businesses and individuals achieve their financial goals sooner and far more efficiently so this one's basically plugged into the whole mining okay it's decent it's, it's, it's decentralized and it's very clean um the problem with some of these projects right is that you know they, they are very new uh but when it when it comes to like revenue that they're generating it does seem pretty low in my opinion right it does seem pretty low but um what do i know I, I don't know much about this sort of stuff anyway you know the technicals behind it but you know i'd rather them you know put some low numbers out and kind of fake their numbers and you know make it look like they're earning a lot more than what they're actually earning okay guys so basically when it comes to these projects right they might look bullish on the service but the biz and the business model might be legit right but you know what are they generating right but ultimately what it comes down to is we we're speculating on the token and this is where we see the gains because ultimately when it comes to revenue share projects and all that sort of stuff right it's good to earn a passive income it's great to earn a passive income but ultimately in the bull market you know we, we want to earn our passive income most of the passive income is from just basically the compounding yield from holding the token okay because me personally i don't want to be locking up a bunch of tokens in to a protocol personally right for staking i i, I do have some I, I have tokens out of states and things like that a lot of them i've just regretted staking because i could have been taking profits at the highs and stuff like that but ultimately you know it's it's the whole ai narrative that is driving the movement of these projects on the charts okay but i do like this one um you know it's very high in market cap at the time of recording this video um but you know if you look at the liquidity ratio to market cap as well um it probably should have more but but that that would mean that it would pump it is you know it's still got room to pump and this could easily you know go to you know like a billion market cap on like a forex pump okay um it won't take much to do that considering you know the liquidity is like you know normally we're looking at like a 10 percent ratio okay but it's a lot lower than that but it's still got a strong liquidity so i think hash ai is one to watch potentially okay guys and you know if everybody else likes it it's probably not one that you should fade that's what i'm saying that's all i'm saying on that project okay guys um now i wanted to quickly talk about net tensor because a lot of people have been asking about net tensor um nao uh basically with net tensor is it, like in my opinion this is a good project it's a strong project we actually bought this one at I found it at like 500k. I bought it at 1.5 million and I held it all the way up. Didn't sing, sell a single token until after it was flooded and I kind of sold some on a bounce. Okay, guys. But basically, it was flooded by another influencer on YouTube who said that. Well, no, he flooded it on Twitter saying that he talked about it on YouTube first and we saw more, you know, some bullish upside out of the project. But then. He flooded it on YouTube saying that there was, or he heard somebody say in a social media group that they had a fake audit, which it didn't have a fake audit, right? Um, but that basically caused a sell-off. And, um, you know, ultimately, I think the important thing is to, you know, cut the losers sometimes, right? Not cut the losers, but kind of like rotate if you know if you're up in a massive profit it's good to rotate profits out of that project into projects that are holding up a little bit more stronger right um like opsec for example okay um so opsec was fudded just like net was fudded right opsec was fudded by a much larger influencer as well over here 
And this is the way OPSEC responded to the FUD. Okay, guys, it's been up and to the right ever since. Obviously, it's on a dip right now. Okay, but this was the FUD candle over here. And we are on the four hour. Okay, but just imagine what that would look like on the one hour or the 15 minute, right? Um, it was a big, it was a huge FUD candle. Okay, guys, but ultimately, it, it bounced right back. Okay, and it's been holding up strong and performing ever since. Still at a 202 million market cap and fluctuating, which we see the whole market having a dip anyway, or having these dips periodically. But OPSEC is clearly, if you see, you can see the signs of strength in the chart. All right, guys. So, you know, when I see things like that, I mean, you know, you've got always got to give a chart a chance to come back, right? And I want to talk about s still some of the bullish aspects of NetTenzo in just a second, right? But you know, ultimately, you got to identify in this market when to kind of move on to another project. And you can always get the project back a lot lower um, later uh, once things calm down and people have forgotten about the FUD and things like that. Right. But, you know, ultimately, that's a good strategy to, to, to use is to, you know, you're up like a 50, 60 X on a project. Right. Because this went to like 60 million, almost 60 million. I think it was 60 million. Um. But I made a lot of profit on this project. Okay, guys. So ultimately, you know, it's, you know, it's the FUD that brought this down. Okay. I was prepared to hold this all the way up. Okay. I didn't sell a single token until after the FUD. Um, in fact, over here on the bounce. Okay. Um, or it might have been over here. I can't remember. Okay, guys. But it was definitely after the FUD. But basically, um, the point remains is that a project can be super bullish and do everything right um, and look good. But, you know, how it responds to price action is always going to be an indicator as to, you know, whether it be, whether it remains a long term hold, a mid term hold or a short term hold. A long term hold can very quickly be, quickly become a short term hold, especially if, it, you know, you could look at something like, yo, this is a long term hold. Um, and it pumps 100x within a week. In my opinion, that just became a short-term hold, okay? Because you can take your profits. You can always buy it again later, all right? Buy it on a dip and, and keep a moon bag for the long term, okay? But I just wanted to quickly talk about that uh, on NetTensor. But not only that, but they do have some great partnerships that they've recently announced. They've got a partnership with Stratos, right? They announced this on the 8th of April, okay? Um, in fact, Stratos announced it on the eighth of April, and um, you know they, you know, Stratos is basically a cloud infrastructure blockchain as well, um, which is very bullish. It's a very good project that will probably perform well during this bull run, and that turns that's probably a, one of the most solid partnerships that I've seen from a bunch of these AI projects. That is a solid partnership, so I will give Net Tensor that. So despite through the FUD, they have continued to build, and you know they they're still doing their thing. So you know I give them props for that, and they recently also listed on Poloniex. So you know you would have to make up your mind like, is this a good project to buy the dip on? Um, I mean this would have been the dip right here, but that's like trying to catch a falling knife. But it is starting to respond well to news and price action is starting to look is, is starting to respond well okay guys so i wouldn't be surprised if you do eventually see this back at all-time high grinding up slowly and you know we see higher prices for this in the future it's currently a 16 million market cap so despite the fact that it did have that fud and yes it's come down from 60 million market cap it's still up from you know launch where you launch a like you know it might have been like under 100k or so um around that level okay so it's still up you know hundreds of x's from the actual launch okay guys so if you got this from the beginning you're still in a massive profit um and even if you got it at the price that i got it at the 1.5 million market cap you're still in a massive profit if you held all the way through this dip as well okay guys so i just wanted to touch base on that um while i'm on the subject of opsec as well because obviously this is one of my favorite ai projects you know that if 
you've been following the channel. Um, another one of my favorite AI projects is Blender, Blender Network, which when we first talked about it, um, or since we first talked about it, it did pump a lot and it's holding up pretty well as well. It's another strong project, hasn't had any FOD. <laughs> um, so it's not been battle tested, but I mean, that's a good thing, you know, that it's not had any FOD. Not that we want it to be battle tested, but the price action is definitely holding up pretty well. It's had a massive uptrend and I see more upside for this. But specifically what I wanted to talk about is the simple fact that, as I said, it's, uh, these are both two of my favorite projects, Upset and Blender. They have actually partnered together, which is very bullish, very, very nice to see, in my opinion. Okay. Um, so there's a tweet here from Blender and Opsic. We posted it. And this was, this is not, you know, this is a couple of days. This is like a week ago, actually. Okay, guys. But I just wanted to update you guys on this. We're thrilled to announce our partnership with Opsec Cloud. This collaboration is set to redefine the security landscape of decentralized computing, ensuring a safer and more reliable environment for all our users. So it's enhanced security protocols, um, shared values for a safer digital world, and driving innovation in security and computing. So great to see two projects that I, you know, I'm extremely bullish on and holding positions in both partner up um I, I see massive price gains for both of these projects in this bull run not financial advice but i think that you know any type of dip on these two projects are for buying um really bullish on upsec and blender so i just wanted to touch base on those very quickly um in this video okay guys so moving on to uh, a gaming project, it's the only gaming project I'm going to talk about in this channel. So, not on this channel, sorry, in this video. It's the only gaming project I'm going to touch in this particular video. And I wanted to share this one because it is very interesting, right? And that is Jewel or Dual, Dual Token, right? So, Dual is basically, if we go to the website, right? uh do the the name of this project is game gpt the ticker is for the token is dual so if you're bullish on gaming and you're bullish on ai right game gpt is an ai driven game builder okay guys so all of the you know all of the things all of the cogs the the, the are all, all the stuff that you see in games right you know for example right you see the trees um you know on this example you see you know the the, the ladders and the, the, like all that sort of stuff the city like this is the type of project like you know you've got like chat gpt right and you can get it to write you an article or you know you can ask it questions right? you can use command prompts to use this particular project to help build out your infrastructure in your game visually all right guys and you know whatever you need in the game i think this is basically you know that's what it covers okay they've got approved game integrations with over 150 million active users you can see you know like league of legends for example that is one that we're familiar with destiny um this is backed by like animoca brands and um down maker for example and you got another two here, placeholder and coin fund. But you know, this this looks like it could be a great project moving forward, right? So I just wanted to share this one with you. So it's another one we shared with the Patreons. But as well, if you look at the price, the chart looks very bullish. It's in an uptrend. You know, and, and these are kind of projects during the bull market that you're gonna see do extremely well. You've got your higher market cap projects like Beam, Infrastructure Plays, like Immutable X. Ronin, for example, but you know, things like this sitting at 36 million market cap is very low. I think very undervalued for what it is and what it's trying to do, right? Um, it's not the team's first rodeo, it's by Prism. Um, so they have another project. Um, but yeah, this is this, this could be a great project. So I just wanted to share this with you as a gaming project you know, infused with AI, this could be a very strong 
project. You know, it's, it's risky just investing in any single game, right? Investing in a game might not work out too well for you because, you know, you're basically betting on the success of that one game. When you in invest in infrastructure or the technology behind it, right, you're basically investing in, you know, a bunch of possible games, right? Do you know what I mean? So, you know, this one is pretty bullish. I thought I'd just quickly share that one with you because, you know, I'm not a huge... I, I don't cover, like, a bunch of gaming projects, but, you know, it's good to have some exposure to that, to gaming and AI in your portfolio. I just thought I'd cover this one because, you know, I do really like this project. Okay, guys. Uh, so, just moving on to meme coins okay i've got two meme coins that i want to share with you that i haven't shared on the channel before okay so we're not talking about every project that i'm bullish on in this video we're just talking about some of the ones that i've not talked about yet that uh, i think you might be interested in okay guys so i did previously talk about brett we talked about pepe i've recently talked about andy or part of the pepe uh boys club right by matt fury okay we we touched on on land wolf very briefly but we're going to talk about land wolf here okay guys because this chart is looking bullish in my opinion um this one just started exploding out of nowhere over the past couple of days and um you know the chart looks good from where i'm standing right so land wolf is you know is self-explanatory like it's part of the pepe pepe boys club okay um, there are a few land wolves, okay? The one that I talked about before was, you know, the one on AVAX. It's the red meme of the red chain, people say, right? But, um, yeah, land wolf is, uh, you know, th this is basically, as you can see, boys club over here. Again, we talked about Andy just the other day. Brett has been pumping, like, huge, just like, s between six and 800 million market cap on base chain, Pepe is in the multiple, I think it's about 3 billion market cap at the moment. Andy is currently at around 50 or 60 million market cap. The Land Wolf, specifically this Land Wolf, because there are a few other Land Wolves, but this one's sitting at a 3.7 million market cap, down from about 5.6, 5.5 million market cap. Um, I think this one could do really well. Um just based on the chart structure at the moment okay seeing a lot of volume coming in from just randomly from i'm not even sure what the catalyst was for this pump but i'm just assuming it's just you know the whole boys club meme culture okay guys um because if you look at you know there are a few other wolves right land wolves i think this one the usp is that they have or this is what they're going with at least is that they have a zero tax okay so there's a zero tax on this token um on the other land wolf on ethereum because there's one on avax like i said which is around 50 million 15 20 million maybe um if, if we just quickly put it up actually that's at 18 million okay so the one on avax is sitting at 18 million uh so the one we're talking about has a much lower market cap uh then the one on the other one on ethereum is which one is it it's my let's have a look it's i think it's this one or is it no that's the one that we're talking about now um or is it right this one's from nine months ago so this is it's a million million dollar market cap okay it's not in fact it's just we'll just yeah, so it's not performing great at the moment. It did have a little pump about a month ago. But, um, you know, it's down. All right, guys. Um, so the hype's not there for this particular Land Wolf. Um, I think there was one more Land Wolf on Ethereum. Which I think is this one right here. No, that's on base. That's Land Wolf on base. Okay, so specifically, the one that I'm talking about in this video is land wolf not wolf it's land wolf okay um all right there was another one in fact let's just go and check out the other one okay so this one is at a nine million all right so this one's higher in market cap but the hype seems to be flowing onto land wolf because it's a lot newer uh land wolf 
this one is newer and um you know that's why i'm talking about this one specifically okay guys we got this huge pump last night out of nowhere uh, sorry not last night the night before or during the day and then we had a another bounce last night and it's come down since but um yeah quite a bit of volume going through this one that the volume is a lot higher than the actual market cap as well at the time of recording this video so i just wanted to quickly talk about that and put that on your radar okay guys and um finally the last project that we're going to talk about is uh resistance dog okay Rido. all right guys now Rido, why specifically i'm saving the best the, the best till last right so why i specifically wanted to talk about Rido, right is many of you are telegram users right we use telegram okay in crypto telegram has approximately 300 million users right um many people have more than one telegram account but uh, technically they have 300 million accounts plus on telegram okay guys so what many people are not aware of is that something that just went came into the top 10 overtook avalanche avax right we we're just talking about land wolf on avax right it's overtook avalanche overtook cardano we have this project called ton coin which is number nine on coin market cap okay guys so this is basically a top 10 crypto and ton coin is a telegram owned blockchain this is the blockchain of telegram so telegram has their own blockchain yes maybe you didn't know that right and that's sitting at 23 billion in market cap okay guys now i'm not sure how high you know this will go it's up pretty high already right so if you're looking for a pump on this and you're discovering it today you're probably going to feel like you missed a pump okay <laughs> on this blockchain right this layer one blockchain okay which could be one of the biggest layer one blockchains that we've seen up there competing with base and you know cardano and well not cardano it's already took over Cardano, like solana right ethereum right um and obviously they have a huge business backing this project telegram okay um one of the most used social media platforms in the world okay guys so when it comes to onboarding users telegram has a, a an edge over some of the other blockchains like base for example like base has a massive user base coinbase and things like that but you know telegram could compete with that in my opinion right and we've all heard about buying a number one meme on the number one chain right so you know there is a guy that i've been watching called crash trading right and he's been talking about this project also stan crypto i've been watching who's been talking about uh uh this project and specifically the, the number one leading meme uh excuse me i can't even talk the, the number one leading meme coin on this chain which is resistance dog Rido. okay guys now Rido, okay or resistance dog um is basically or what i'm hearing right is that it's actually the founder of telegram who designed this dog or this meme right and it's a little bit more than a meme. It actually stands for something, right? It's a, um, it's a stand against censorship, okay? Um, so it says here, our vision, a homage to the creation of Pavel Durov, the founder of TON, the open network, and Telegram, okay? So TON stands for the open network, right? And Telegram. So he's the founder of TON, chain, and Telegram. Resistance Dog Rido is a symbolic representation of our fight against censorship and freedom through digital resistance. Created in 2018 by Durov, our logo is the unofficial mascot of Telegram and is at the forefront of Telegram's consistent efforts to battle censorship by governments and multinational companies trying to restrict the ability of people to express themselves freely in digital media and so on, right? So, basically, that's what this meme represents is freedom from censorship or resistance against censorship right um so 
that's basically the bullish case for this project. Not only that, but it's the number one meme on the blockchain. So it's drawn and created by, I don't think it was launched by the founder, but the whole resistance dog theme is basically something that was thought up by the creator of Telegram. And when you see, like, for example, Solana supporting Bonk, um, and, you know, the number one memes or the top memes on Solana going absolutely crazy. You see it on Ethereum, you know, you know, you, you got Whiff on Solana, Bonk, um, and then you get, like, Pepe on Ethereum, Shiba Inu, Doge, you know, with Resistance Dog being, you know, or, or sorry, with Ton being an up-and-coming blockchain, I can't even say up and coming at this point. It's number nine, right? It's number nine in the rankings, but being a huge, massive blockchain, right? That has the ability to onboard millions of users, right? Millions and millions of users uh, because they also have an airdrop coming, right? For Notcoin. I've been mining Notcoin for the past month or so, right? On my phone, just playing this game to try and earn some of this not coin for the for the airdrop right it's ton backwards like not coin right so there's going to be an airdrop pretty soon and you know where a lot of time when people get airdrops they might sell it and they might put it into another coin which will probably be a meme coin you know because it's free money they can afford to risk it right in a meme coin so with all of that redo or resistance dog like in my opinion, it's super bullish, right? It's super bullish. And I did buy this token. I bought it later than what I wanted to. And one of the reasons, it's not easy to buy, okay, guys? You need a Telegram wallet or a, um, a Tongcoin wallet, right? You can you can literally just use your... You, you have a, a wallet built into your Telegram that you can actually activate, right? This is going to board, onboard a lot of people, this particular blockchain, Ton, right? Ton coin. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I would have bought it sooner if it wasn't so, you know, you know, just trying to figure out a new blockchain and, you know, bridge funds and all that sort of stuff, right? It's always going to be something that, you know, sometimes you will like kind of, you know, procrastinate a little bit, I'll do it later. But then, what happened is, you know, it started pumping, right? And all this volume is coming in and I see this going a lot higher. Okay, I see this going a lot higher during the bull run. We've already seen what meme coins can do with whiff, bonk, and so on. The list goes on, right? We're seeing Brett, for example, at like 800 million. This one is sitting at, where's the market cap on here? 81 million. Okay, 81 million at the time of recording this video. Now, I faded it at 15 million. I won't say I faded it. I was still intending to buy it. I just didn't expect that it would have started pumping so quickly. So then it was like up like 100% in a day, like 30 million. So I didn't end up getting this till in the, I, well, I DCA'd in. So I bought some at like 50 million. It came down, I bought some at like 40 something million. I bought some at like 30 something million. And, and now it's just pumping, right? So like 82, 81 million. Okay, and going higher, in my opinion. But I see this going into the hundreds of millions and potentially the billions for the simple fact that it's the number one meme on the Telegram blockchain. And, it, you know, the whole story and narrative and culture behind this particular project, you know, this will probably get a lot of support from Telegram. They've got the airdrop coming. You know, this is going to be a super bullish narrative. And many people are not aware of it yet. So it's about front running the hype. You could say that the hype's already in, yeah, a little bit. But um, I do like to zoom out. They say when in doubt, zoom out, okay? Um, really, we're at the beginning of the bull run. The Bitcoin halving hasn't even happened yet. Um, Tongcoin is probably going to climb the rankings a lot more and probably, probably overtake some other projects on this list. It could overtake Dogecoin. It's not even far from doing that. Five billion away from five or six billion away from overtaking Dogecoin, XRP shouldn't even be in the top ten in my opinion, but it is. But there's just lots of potential for this particular blockchain, and so buying the number one meme coin on that blockchain 
is like a leverage play on the ton coin. Okay, so you feel like you missed ton, you're sitting at a 20 plus billion market cap, almost 30 billion market cap. Um, you can buy the number one meme coin on that chain for at under 100 million market cap at the time of recording this video. Okay, guys, so that's why I'm bullish on resistance, dog. Um, probably the most bullish meme coin, I would say, at the moment. Or, or undervalued in terms of yes there are mean coins that are moving more bullishly but in terms of getting in early and front running the pump this is probably the best option that i can see on the market right now it's difficult to get into once it becomes easy to buy we will see a lot more volume going into this project in my opinion okay guys and um, there's so many catalysts for that um yeah, that's really what I've got for you in this video. Quite a long-winded video, but um, yeah. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications. Like the video. I'll see you in the very next one.